welcome to sport mode. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the all new 2021 Lexus NX 300H. With all that being said, let's get straight into the video. So under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic transmission and is paired to a hybrid system as well. Total system outputs 194 horsepower with fuel economy being 33 around town and then 30 on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the NX. So first off, this one is finished in Nori Green, which is a special color for 2021. And you guys can see it looks absolutely fantastic here in the sunlight. Now coming down below, notice we've got the full LED lights and then we've got the LED accent light here that is the Lexus checkmark logo. We've got LED fog lights just down below. We've got parking sensors here on the front a camera just below the blue Lexus logo. Now the logo is a little bit blue because this is a hybrid model. And aside from that, the front end looks really good. It's gotten a lot of nice sharp edges and so it kind of gives it this nice aggressive look. And I feel like this is a perfect proportion for the Lexus grill. Now coming to the side here, we've got two 25 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then as for the design on the wheels, I think it looks so cool. So it kind of looks like a bunch of swords going towards the center. And you can see that they're kind of holding the Lexus logo there in the center. And we've got the dark metallic gray for the other spokes. Overall, I think it looks great from a design perspective. And then also you've got the plastic there on the very bottom of the front, but then also here on the fender flares. And then it kind of goes down into a mud flap and then continues along the bottom portion and we've got a second mud flap out the back and then notice that the mirrors are body painted and then we've got a camera there on the bottom of the mirror this one does have the crossbars added there to the top and other than that that's kind of like your full side ish view Now popping here into the trunk area, first notice that we've got the cargo cover here in the back and then we've got the rubber covering here down below with the Lexus logo on top of it. And overall storage space back here is actually pretty decent. And then notice we've got the first aid kit and then if we pick up the rubber floor mat, notice we've got a nice metallic trim here on the handle. Pick that up, notice that we've got a little bit of extra storage that you could use just underneath. And other than that, that's everything for the back. So, so yeah. And notice you can also lock that uh, from the rear. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space to fit the whole NX in. Yep, we got it. We're good to go. Now let's finish things up here in the rear. So we've got the signature NX taillights that again are just like the Lexus logo with the checkmark design. Got the Lexus logo right there with our NX 300H badge. And they've got parking sensors here at the bottom portion. And then also the design that they do right there. I think that looks cool at the very bottom here with the bumper and all of that. And you can see the mud flap again there from the side. And well, other than that, that's everything for the rear. Now here's our door panel in the back. So first off, got really nice leather here at the top with the stitching and then it continues down below to the armrest. We've got more stitching. The texture between the leather is actually different though. Definitely interesting. And then notice we got the wood trim that goes across right there. A couple speakers here for the sound system. And then here are the seats in the back. So we've got really nice leather seats with the perforated leather and notice that there is a little bit of a texture difference obviously between the two different sets. And this is a little bit softer there than what is on the seat. But anyways, let's pop in and ooh, Oh boy, we got the sandals on today. But anyways, we've got some vents back here. And then you guys can see that we've got the whole cup holder section. Then if you guys are wondering, six foot. And actually, wow, I actually fit with the uh, headroom and let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, we've got the leather here and then down below with all of the stitching, the wood design. And we've got the window controls right there. The mirrors are power folding. And then you've got the seats here in the front, same as what's in the back from a design perspective, just larger bolsters, just like most front seats. Power adjustments right there. Got the two Lexus logos on the floor mat and then the plaque. And then you guys can see the pedals. And then, sorry about the sun right there. So we've got the automatic lights here and then you've got the heated steering wheel, camera button, blind spot monitoring. That's for the rear hatch. The steering wheel itself is automatically adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. I missed the memory seats, but now you know. Beep. 
Now here's our steering wheel for the NX. Really nice leather all around the steering wheel. And then you've got the stitching there on the center portion, cruise control hiding there on the back. And then like the pages button, lane departure assistance controls here for the center. And then notice that you've got the paddle shifters there on the back. And then you've got like your phone controls, voice command controls on the other side. Definitely like the feel of the steering wheel. It's got like a nice meaty feel to it. But anyways, got the stock there for the lights and the turn signal and then windshield wiper on the other side. And that's all for the steering wheel. Here's the center gauge cluster. Since this is a hybrid, you don't have traditional RPMs. You've got your charge, eco, and power gauge. And then you've got the speedometer on the other side. And then you've got this center screen, which basically just shows you difference between vehicle information, music, safety tech, all the normal stuff that you see in most uh, modern cars is here in this uh, center screen. And well, that's all for the gauge cluster area. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse so I can show you guys the camera system. We've got the backup camera with trajectory lines and then notice we do have a bird's eye view as well. And then you guys remember there's that camera button there on the side. If I actually press that button again, then notice that it gives me this kind of 360 view here with the NX shows me the surroundings and the extremely dirty driveway. Thank you, NX. But <laughs> That's everything for the camera system. As for the rest of the infotainment system, it is not a touchscreen. It's actually controlled all via a little keypad and then some shortcut buttons as well. Now this is Lexus's nicer keypad, so it's actually really easy to use. It's really direct with the controls. I know some of Lexus's units are a little bit harder to use. This one though is, again, like I said, really easy to use. And you've got enough shortcut buttons that, again, overall, it's a really good system. And so even though it's not a touchscreen, it's still pretty good. So we've got some vents down here. We've got the Lexus clock here, and then this does come with dual zone climate, automatic climate controls, heated seats, cooled seats here for the front as well. And then down below, we've got our little radio players, what we'll call it, because you actually still get a CD player, and then you've got the radio controls. And then we've got a drive mode select here in this area. So we've got a few different drive modes, the eco, normal, and then we've got our sport, EV mode, and then you've got the stability control off button. Now, if you're wondering, those will pop up here in the center screen. So like if I popped eco, go into normal and then go into sport for example notice when you go into sport it changes so it shows you the rpm so depending on what mode you're in will determine what the gauge cluster looks like i think that that is very cool attention to detail and then here's the shifter for that cvt automatic and then just down below here's that keypad that i was telling you guys about earlier and then this is our wrist rest and then it also comes with the mirror which is always interesting you guys can see my camera right there I've never been sure why they have this, but they do, and it's kind of, there we go. Pretty easy to get back, but a couple cup holders, and then we've got the center console, and then notice nice leather over everything. Even the mirror, the mirror has leather and stitching. Pretty cool. And then something else I wanted to mention is here on the dash, you also get really nice stitching and leather, and then it's over here on the top, and then we've got more wood trim, and then more leather and stitching here on the bottom portion. And then as for the glove box, it's actually pushed to open. You guys can see pretty decent storage space there on the glove box itself and then if we finish things here at the very top we do have a sunroof here and you can see the crossbars through the sunroof controls for it are just right here on either side we've got a mirror letter colored headliner that's all for the top now here's a window sticker for the annex so the 300h represents the powertrain and then the luxury represents the interior that this one has pretty much but feel free to freeze a frame if you can read every bit of standard equipment this comes with and then you guys can see you've got the base MSRP. Now there are a few options that have been added to this particular one. You guys can see those different options. And then we've got our total MSRP down here, $52,855. And this is pretty much as loaded as it gets for an NX 300H. Let's take her out and see how she drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here. So you guys can see visibility there over the hood and then through both of the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring and then the rest of the rear. And let's set off. We're in the sport mode. And that's 50. So as you guys saw in that first clip, the car is actually pretty quick from zero to 20 but once you get past 20 miles an hour, it does kind of taper off, right? The hybrid system helps out giving it instant power and torque off of the line. And so that's why it's so quick right off the line. But again, once you're up and moving, then well, physics comes into play and this doesn't have a whole lot of horsepower. And so it kind of slows down quite a bit. Steering's actually pretty good. Body control's actually pretty good too. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not that big of an SUV, and so turn-in's actually pretty decent on it. I'm definitely surprised with that, and it actually handles pretty good. They did a good job with this, um, and from a suspension standpoint, it's also really smooth. And I mentioned this earlier, I really like the feeling of the steering wheel. Definitely has this nice, again, like thick feeling. And so you get like a really good grip on the steering wheel. Definitely, definitely like it a lot. And then aside from that, the braking doesn't feel weird or anything, even though this is a hybrid, feels pretty much like any other vehicle. And we'll kind of see coming around this. This is kind of like a big sweeper. Yes, yeah, stability at higher speeds is actually really good as well. So overall, definitely uh, doing good from pretty much every single angle other than, again, the higher speed acceleration with the vehicle. Now, in terms of the seat comfort and everything, uh, the seats are actually really nice. So the bolsters are wider. So if you're a large person, you can still fit in these seats, uh, but they definitely do hold you in place pretty well. So definitely a plus on that. Uh, and then in terms of just like the overall comfort with the climate system, because a lot of people have been asking me about this with cars, this is really good. The AC blows very cold. The automatic climate controls work great. The air conditioned seat also helps out quite a bit with keeping things nice and cool right here in the summertime. So definitely a huge plus on that. And we'll see how the braking is if I go hard. Yeah, under harder braking, you can kind of feel, it feels kind of interesting. It doesn't stop at the best rate, but I mean, it's pretty good. And there's kind of another actuation there under the pedal. So that's definitely interesting. Now that it's in the full EV mode, everything turns off really quiet. And I did forget to mention road noise. Uh, tire noise, you do hear a little bit, but it's pretty minimal. Wind noise, pretty much non-existent. It's actually a very windy day today. It's gonna storm pretty soon. Uh, so they did a good job with the insulation here. And that'll get me to selling things up here with this nx so first off i actually really like the styling with the nx uh, exterior wise i think it looks really good especially in this paint color i love this green paint and then in terms of the interior uh, materials are definitely nice especially considering the price point in the segment that this is in touch points are nice i guess the one thing i will say is the paddles so like i'll put it over into the manual mode they're relatively responsive uh, but material wise, they're not necessarily uh, the nicest. And so I guess that is uh, a slight downside, I guess, is just the materials that are being used on the uh, paddles. It'd be nice if they were kind of like nice, really nice metallic uh, trim. And then going over these bumps, yeah, it actually takes it pretty well. Suspension it does a pretty good job with that. Uh, but yeah, overall, material wise, and the interior is great. It'd be cool if the infotainment system is a touchscreen. Lexus obviously has touchscreen units now, so it'd be cool if they threw one of those into the NX, which we're getting a new NX for 2022, so a lot of these things I'm saying are you know, gonna be changed, and we're running over a tumbleweed. Oops, sorry, Lexus, but anyways, I guess fully wrapping things up with the NX. Gets great fuel economy. I think it looks great on the outside. It's a very comfortable vehicle. It's got decent space, right? It's not a terribly large SUV, but it's got decent storage space. Uh, and I mean, I fit in the front seat great. I fit in the back seat. I'm almost touching the roof in the back, but not quite. Uh, so there is some room back there. And then from a driving experience perspective, body control is really good on this. It is a little bit on the slow side, but if you want a faster version, they've got the turbo version, which has a little bit more power and torque than this. And so then that one will be the one to go for if you're wanting, again, a quicker version of this. Uh, and so overall, it's a great package. Again, if you're looking for a really good daily driver SUV, this will definitely get the job done. And it's got a slight sporty edge to it. Nothing too crazy, but just a little bit. Now let's get some things up for our video on this 2021 Lexus NX300H. And with all that being said, I'll see all of you in that next video.